Today we are back with another very interesting video on this channel, man. Now check me out. This video right here actually got sent to my DM last night. And this is a topic of conversation that we speak about a lot on this channel. Now I tell you guys all the time that the rap industry really creates homosexual men, bro. Y'all don't believe me when I tell y'all. But a lot of these rappers, you can watch lives of rappers getting exposed by gay men. You can watch all different types of videos of rappers saying some very, very suspect shit. Now, there's nothing wrong with being gay or bisexual or trans. Like, the LGBTQ community is respected. But I'm just letting y'all know that there is a lot of gay activity going on behind closed doors. Like I said, this is no disrespect at all. If y'all want to do that, then that's what y'all want to do. I just find it very interesting that it's kept a secret. Now, check me out. He sent me this video right here of how Lil Wayne was, you know what I'm saying, when he was younger. A lot of these artists are. It goes unspoken. But like I always tell you, there has to be an admission to fame. You have to do something. They have to have dirt on you, bro. Little Wayne got ranked. Justin Bieber got ranked. A lot of these little young pop stars that you see come up out of nowhere at a young age, all of them are getting touched, bro. Realistically speaking. Now, today we're about to watch a video where Lil Wayne actually explains it and <laughs> in depth. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's only a 2 minute and 14 second video, so... I'm not even going to say too much. We're just going to watch the video, hear what he has to say. Like I told y'all, man, you have to be woke to this type of shit. Like I said, there's no disrespect to the LGBTQ community whatsoever. I'm just letting y'all know. This is the type of stuff that y'all are subscribing to when you listen to these rap artists. A lot of these rap artists do shit that y'all don't know about. Whether it be devilish activity, satanic rituals, selling themselves, selling their soul. Depends what it is. Lil Wayne just so happened to get his booty tickled. <laughs> Lil Wayne just so happy to get his booty tickle when he was a little boy, man. Hey, we're about to hop into this video. Make sure I do leave a like down below and subscribe to his channel. Road to 1 Millie. Let's get into it, man. How you get that? You get that? You understood that? <laughs> you suck it. That's how that fight. <laughs> Oh, and not to mention before we before we continue, let me just say this: Young Money Entertainment is a very is a group of very suspect individuals, bro. You got Birdman kissing Lil Wayne. You got Tiger over here out of Miami sucking on beef. Y'all could look that shit up. You got Nicki Minaj who openly admitted that her alter ego Roman that ah that shit that she be doing. I don't know why she does that shit. I finally know why. She literally said that that's her alter ego. She's fighting internal demons. You could look it up on an interview, my boy. She said it. She said, Robin is my alter ego. He comes out to play and he likes to destroy. He likes to be whatever. Ah, ah. She was saying a whole bunch of things about that. Young Money Entertainment is a very interesting group of people, bro. Everyone, is, everyone associated with Young Money has seen Lil Wayne and Birdman do what they do. Ah, ah, ah. Whatever the case is, they just keep their mouth quiet about it. Some of them get approached too. And you can hear stories. Non-stop stories. If you look up on VLAD TV, I think is what it's called. VLAD TV, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of artists go on that on that um on that YouTube channel and they expose what they've seen in the industry. And it's very interesting to see. Nick Cannon, you got uh what's his name? Bones or some shit like that. There are a lot of uh retired artists and current artists who expose shit about the industry. But let's continue. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. It ain't cause you a, a, a male. It ain't cause you 15. You supposed to. It cause you're young money. You're supposed to. Fuck that shit, man. He said you're supposed to cause you're young that's money. The I, when I was 11, twist. And I loved it. <laughs> that's just crazy. I ain't never pressed child. I'ma do you like baby that did me. Yeah. I never forget that day. Of course you never forgot that day, my boy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know how baby did Lil Wayne, but I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna I've already showed y'all in the past, but I'm gonna show y'all again after you watch this clip. I was out in the kitchen, I was scared. It's cool. There's many niggas and shit too in that bit. 
I never forget the word. Suck up one. I don't know how graphic is gonna get, so I'm moving on to the next. But check me out. This right here is just further exposing on how literally they got a lot of a lot of suspect activity going on, my boy. Check me out. Lil Wayne kisses Berman on the mouth. And like I said, if y'all don't believe me, literally type it in. I literally Googled it. Lil Wayne kissing Birdman comes right up. <laughs> This ain't nothing new, my boy. This is what happens in the industry. A lot of artists are like this. Young Thug is like this. Lil Uzi is like this. Playboy Cardi is like this. All these low, Hey. All these artists are like this, man. Low key, though. Very, very low key. But check me out. It says Lil Wayne kisses Birdman in the mouth on 106. I'm the only one he kisses. Throwback, raw footage. Now, I had to look through it. Um, I had to look through the video just because yeah, I know people like to clickbait. But um, just listen to what look, just listen to this shit right here. Just listen to it. You won't see them. They big and they swole. So when you when you kiss, I got a lady. I got dollars here. So when you kiss a girl, right? Hey, I'm on the first day kiss. I got dollars here. Girl, right? I got a lady. I got dollars here. Oh, you kiss the girl, right? Hey, they, I'm on the first day kiss. Lil Wayne said, I am the only person that he kissing. <laughs> Look at this picture right here, bro. We already reviewed this video in past. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I got dollars here. Oh, you kiss the girl, right? Hey, they, I'm on the first day kiss. Oh, yeah. That's our room. Well, I'm kidding. That's the fuck else, man. He said, that's cash money love. I told you, that's a weird group of men right there. Okay, now. Uh, Ain't no fruit. Okay, that's we just roll like that. That's my son. I raised him, you heard? I believe that was a loan. Right. <laughs> Manny. Yes, what's darling. up, Manny? What's up? That's what I'm talking about. Shit is weird. Shit is getting very, very spooky. Now, we have this video right here. Berman explaining. I'm just giving you a full breakdown, a full walkthrough. Lil Wayne admitted to it openly, and now we see Lil hints and pieces that this shit is the facts of the matter, bro. I don't, I would never feel that comfortable kissing a man and talking about, oh yeah, that's my son. Like, what are you talking about? Birdman is the only one I'm kissing? What are you talking about? And now to think about it, how nowadays a lot of these artists are out here doing female shit, wearing, and let me not say female shit, because then y'all gonna get mad at me in the comment section. But wearing paint on your nails is, is, is not a guy thing to do. Wearing dresses is not a guy thing to do. I'm sorry, but I'm going to keep it real nowadays, honestly speaking. Like, stuff like that is not, like, you know what I'm saying? That's not a, that's not a manly thing to do. You wear jeans. You wear, you know what I'm saying, sweatpants. You wear regular shit. Why are you out here wearing dresses? And I'm specifically talking about people like Young Thug. Lil Uzi wearing an off-the-shoulder shirt with a fucking purse. That's kind of weird, my boy. Like, come on, bro. It's a little sus. But look, Birdman right here is over here explaining why he does this. Let's just watch it. Bro, my own born son. Yes. I'm with kissing. Right. I know you got a child. You probably kiss him. You probably got a son. You kiss him. Yeah. Birdman. I always looked at Wayne as my son. And I always looked at it like, because I was in the streets. Mm -hmm. And I thought this might be the last time they ever see me. Damn. Because I was living like that. Right. So I was like. That's what that shit really started from. Because I thought that every night I leave, I might not never come back. Yeah. That was my mindset. This like nigga was tucking him in and giving him kisses before he left the crib. Listen, man. This video right here is literally just to expose the industry for the type of stuff that they have going on behind closed doors. There's a lot more to the industry than y'all think. Y'all don't understand. It's a very, very in-depth, tight, tightly knit system. And what I mean by that is we have satanic worshipers. I'm gonna leave everything in the comment in the description down below. Y'all gonna see it. Satanic worshippers. You have a whole bunch of gay men who are pretend to be straight. And nowadays, with the new agenda that they're trying to implement, which is the demasculation of men agenda. If y'all want me to speak on that, I can speak on that. Where they're over here trying to make new cartoon characters gay. They're trying to make superheroes, Superman and Spider-Man, Batman and Robin gay. Like these are all things to just demasculate men, make men lose their uh, like their assertive being. Notice like, and this is not about men and women, but notice how docile and simpy men have been. Women are taking over, bro, and I don't blame them. Women are lit. 
women are literally running the world. They've always ran the world. Women are queens, but women right now are running the world financially, economically, business. Like they're running this shit now. They pimping men. Men are no longer pimping women. Women are now pimping men. <laughs> This shit is scary. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, that right there is the agenda. The agenda behind that is to make the man feel less of a man and more humble, more docile, less confident himself. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things that, that play a part into it, but I can speak on that in another video. I'm going to end this video right here. If y'all did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. Let me catch that next one, man. Peace.